Hey, what is up YouTube? Uh, David here, and uh, yeah, I am finally back to doing videos. I think it's been about three months or longer. Um, reason for my hiatus is basically uh, I have moved into a new place. Uh, I am back in my hometown in Louisville. I'm not living in Brandenburg, Kentucky with my dad anymore. And uh, the other reason why is just I got so tired of like our internet, my internet and my dad's wasn't good at all. So I just got really tired of like having to record a video and then wait until I like, I would have to like go to work and like chill out in the parking lot a bit and try to like upload it from my phone, you know, cause uh, even my phone, uh, my phone's data wouldn't be very good over there. But anyway, enough of that. I am back now, and uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to just uh, show you guys, we're going to get back into showing some CDs today. Um, as far as the future of this channel, uh, I still I still don't want music to be the only thing that I talk about on here. As I've stated before, I want to talk about the other things that I'm into, my other hobbies. I want to talk about video games, I want to talk about anime, I want to talk about like horror movies and you know shit like that, but I just... I'm kind of struggling still to come up with some good ideas on how to talk about those topics. Maybe I should start like showing, like for video games for example, like I do with my CDs, maybe I should just start showing off like my video game collection or something. I don't know, that might be a good way to start. And I've got, I own a few horror movies, but not enough to where I would say it's a horror movie collection. I definitely need more. Most of the fucking movies that I watch is on my computer, but anyway. um. Yeah, for today at least, or I guess probably for a while still, uh, I'm still just going to be talking mainly uh, about music. Um, I had a shit ton of stuff that I've acquired uh, since I've been on this hiatus, so if you guys are ready, let's uh, go ahead and get to talking about some CDs. Um, all these are going to be releases from this year, and uh, before I begin, I want to say that uh, 2019 has been a another great year for music so far uh one genre in particular has been killing it compared to any of the others and we'll get to that later when i show off the last cd but anyway i'm going to start off with inter arma so for english this is released on relapse records uh this is the uh fourth i want to say yeah fourth uh inter arma full length and uh if you know anything about Inter Arma, they are a very experimental, extreme metal band that combines every single fucking genre that you can think of. Um, <clears throat> it is pretty much impossible to categorize Inter Arma into one genre. Uh, there's so much shit going on here. There's death metal, there's doom, there's sludge, there's um, even a little bit of black metal elements. Um, just Inter Arma is a very creative and just amazingly talented band that always puts out just these really long and just uh just uh musical journeys uh i guess is a way to put it uh for just all their records that they put out um i became a huge fan of this band when i saw them live for the first time uh when i was seeing paul bear for the second time and uh they blew me away and i've been a fan ever since um Compared to the other Inter Arma releases, so far English is, uh, it's, it's very, very strong. Um, I think my favorite is probably So Paradise Gallows by a little bit. And the production took me a little getting used to. I wasn't, like, blown away on the first listen. Like, I definitely enjoyed it, but it definitely took more and more listens for me to get used to the production and just the overall, uh, soundscape and songwriting and the compositions that was going on here. Um... It's just Inter Arma doing what they do best and just pushing themselves to the absolute limits, but not losing any of that, that heaviness and still just being able to write these really, like I said, long uh, compositions, but still have a lot of just, there's a lot of hooks, plenty of just great riffs to sink your teeth into. This is heavy, heavy shit. Uh, and that's, like I said, Inter Arma has never put out anything, no matter how experimental they get, they always you know, they don't lose the heaviness or the aggression, so, yeah, it's a great, great, uh, great release. Inter Arma, so for English. Next up, we go to Smolder, uh, with, 
how do you say this again? Times of obscene evil and uh, and wild daring. Smolder is a band from Canada, and uh, a lot of you may have already heard of this project because one of the uh, reviewers on Beggar TV, Sarah, she is the vocalist of this band, and that is how I found this because Blaine Smith was doing his Metal Monthly video, and he included this. And uh, he also included some else that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. But uh, Smolder is an epic doom heavy metal band, uh, like I said uh, earlier, from Canada. One second. <clears throat> it is hot as fuck today. <clears throat> yeah. Epic Doom Heavy Metal from Canada. Uh, very good stuff. M uh, just epic, massive riffing going on. Uh, Sarah's vocals are fantastic. Very, uh, you know, she can be powerful and epic, but she can also be beautiful and melodic at the same time. You know, she's kind of got that kind of voice going. Um, great bass work. Uh, very thick, pummeling uh, drum sound. Uh, as you guys know, that's how I prefer my drums in metal. The thicker, the better. Um, yeah. A lot of, just a lot of really good stuff on here. Um, if you like, uh, uh, you know, stuff like Candlemas, Solitude Eternus, if you like Crypt Sermon, uh, I think you will definitely enjoy Smolder as well. So, uh, yeah. Smolder, Times of Obscene Evil and Wild Daring. And I see I'm still having issues with glares. My apologies on that. Next up, we go to Crips with Cadaver Circulation. Uh, this is the third full-length Crips record, once again, on Dark Descent Records. Uh, this is a great, great Finnish Death Doom band, or, you know, death metal with Death Doom elements, however you want to put it. Um, I'm not sure how, where I would put it among the Crips discography. I don't know if I'd say it's my new favorite, but it is definitely good. Uh, Crips is... Fantastic band that has never really put out a bad album. Uh, and But this is definitely their uh, most atmospheric, their most just really um, haunting, uh, darkest sounding release that they've done yet. Uh, I feel like Remnants of Expansion may have been a bit more crushing than this is. Don't get me wrong, there is still some crushing heaviness on here. I mean, it's Crips we're talking about, so... Um, you know, they've still got that incantation, you know, and of course there's a lot of other death metal influences going on here, but, um, um, yeah, from, uh, beginning to end, great album, uh, love it, uh, definitely one of the best in death metal, uh, that you'll hear this year. Crips, Cadaver, Circulation. Next up, we go to a traditional heavy metal band, uh, this one also from uh, Canada, Traveler. Uh, this is their debut full length. This is out on Gates of Hell Records, uh, a label that I've become very, very fond of lately, and I've been following pretty much every release that's been coming out this year from that label, because every band that I've heard from uh, Gates of Hell Records, I've just absolutely loved. And uh, yeah, this is a great album. Uh, if you like traditional heavy metal, speed metal, Traveler, definitely check this shit out uh plenty of great hooks uh great songwriting uh you know just uh everything you want out of a fun traditional sort of heavy metal album that's what traveler uh delivers here a lot of judas priest influence for sure um yeah if that sounds like your thing definitely check out traveler <clears throat> Next up, we go to Nucle Nucleus with Entity. This is really on Unspeakable Acts. Nucleus is a um, is a death metal band from oh shit, somewhere in the U.S. I can't remember where or what state specifically, but um, this was my introduction to Nucleus. Apparently, they put out an album before this. I had never heard about them before they put this out. Um, I think I just saw it come up on the Bandcamp feed because uh, a lot of people that were following me were buying this album. And I just, of course, you know, got my curiosity going. I was like, okay, I see so many people talking about this. It's probably good. And uh, it is. Nucleus is very, very good death metal, very much in the vein of if, uh, stuff like Blood Incantation, Time Goal. Uh, but there's also a lot of finished death metal going on here. I hear a lot of Convulse, a little bit of Demolic, 
actually, I guess quite a bit of Demolik as well, but um, there's some pertinence in here too. So uh, basically taking the uh, that atmospheric sort of sci-fi death metal style and mixing it in with the finished death metal stuff. Uh, very, very cool. I, I love the vocals on this. Awesome riffs. Uh, really solid drumming. Uh, just, yeah, another absolutely fantastic death metal release uh, this year. Nucleus with Entity. Son of a bitch. One second. That's happened to me before. Next up, we go to Vulture with Ghastly Waves and Batter Graves. I was looking so forward to this this year. I couldn't wait for this to come out. Uh, I was a huge, huge fan of the guillotine back in 2017, which uh, definitely made my albums of the year that year. And um, so now they have left High Roller Records and they are now on to Metal, they are now on Metal Blade Records. So congratulations, guys. Very happy with you. Uh, really cool that you're uh, on a bigger label. Excuse me. <clears throat> Maybe I'm talking too fast. <laughs> so yeah, I was very much looking forward to the new album Vulture was putting out, and uh, it does not disappoint. I would say this is just as good as The Guillotine, if not better. Uh, a little bit longer of an album, instead of like, you know, 30-something minutes, it's about 45 minutes. Uh, but that doesn't, you know, kill it in any sort of way. It doesn't get boring. Uh, you're never wondering when a song's going to end. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Vulture, just fucking great, great high-speed metal, which is what they even call themselves on their Facebook page. Yeah, great heavy speed metal from uh, Germany. Uh, this is just really kick-ass stuff. And I also love the... I love that fucking artwork. It looks like just a, a Italian B-horror flick. That's so, so cool. And I'm pretty sure that they are... Uh, there is some horror influence on here, because I've read the lyrics a little bit, and I've seen the music video for uh, the track Beyond the Blade. So, uh, yeah, they're definitely into into horror, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, I love the riffs. Uh, the reverb uh, vocals are fucking great. Um, great drumming. Yeah, just fucking awesome, heavy speed metal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Uh, this year, out of all the metal genres, traditional heavy metal and speed metal is fucking killing it this year. They are... That genre is by far doing the best this year, in my opinion. And uh, albums like this by Vulture are certainly proving that. So, it's really cool, because I feel like I haven't paid this much attention to, you know, uh, classic heavy metal, speed metal, in quite some time. So, next up, we go to Abyssal with A Beacon in the Husk, another one that I was looking so, so forward to. Once again, released on Profound Lore Records. Uh, Abyssal, uh, come back, and again, they don't disappoint. Uh, this one-man project from uh, the UK, this guy just, it's amazing that he records all this shit. Uh, writes and records all this shit on his own, and uh, I've, I've seen some YouTube videos of... Uh, him with his backing band playing live. I would love to go see them live. Uh, they sound really, really good. But, um, yeah, atmospheric death metal at its finest. Um, like the Sulfur... The Sulfur Eon? Jesus. The Inter Arma album, because it's called Sulfur English. Like the Inter Arma album, the production on this took me a little bit getting used to, because it is their most noisy. It's a little more murky and uh, a little more raw compared to like Anti-Catastasis or um, the second full length, which is a bitch to pronounce. I'm not even going to attempt that right now. But um, this is still the same atmospheric death metal that I want to hear from Abyssal. Just um, dark, evil sounding vocals, crushing riffs, uh, just crazy. And the fucking drumming on this is outstanding. It's nuts. Really, really crazy drumming going on here. But... Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's Abyssal. Um, you guys should know Abyssal right now. Uh, if you like stuff like Portal, Evangelist, you definitely know Abyssal. If you're into that atmospheric, cavernous death metal stuff, you know who Abyssal is. Um, it's a great album. 
Uh, what I will say is I expected them to do a little bit more with the kind of stuff that they had on like the track dialogue. Um, in particular, like that part at the end where they do like just this kind of like post-rock kind of part, I thought was really, really cool and really different for Abyssal. And I thought it was going to have more of those kind of moments, but it really didn't. That was a slight disappointment for me. I kind of wanted to hear him do a little bit more of that on this record, but um, it's still great. I love it. It's still one of my favorite releases this year, without question. So yeah, Abyssal Beacon in the Husk. Uh, where the fuck is the CD? Oh, it's in the computer, because I was uh, putting it on there a couple days ago. And the final album that I'm going to show you guys today is Chevalier with Destiny Calls. My fucking god, what an album. Uh, this is... This is, uh... Tied with, I think, like... Abyssal and Periphery for my absolute favorite album of the year so far. Traditional heavy speed metal from uh, Finland. Um, this is their debut full length. Um, once again, this is a band that I discovered to thanks to Banger TV doing their Metal Monthly. The same episode that they showed Smolder on. They also showed this. And um, after I watched that video, I saw this getting a lot of buzz very, very quickly. I saw a lot of people talking about it. I'm like, man, I need to check this out. And when I did, I absolutely fell in love with it on first listen. And it has been on fucking heavy rotation for me ever since I've uh, heard it for the first time. Um, vocals are done by a female. Her name's Emma something. Um, She's got a great range. She has uh, just a lot of really good charisma and character within her voice. Um, her banshee screams from her melodic, uh, her just melodic epic sort of singing. Um, now, a lot of uh, a lot of bands that try to do this, that are still doing this style, you know, they definitely try to go for that retro '80s sound. Chevalier does this. Um, they go even uh, deeper into it. Like, this is pretty raw uh, sounding stuff. Um, I don't want to say it's, well, it's definitely not like the quality of like raw black metal or something, because if it was, I'd fucking hate it probably. But it is pretty raw and it is pretty, it does have a dark vibe, but at the same time, very epic. Um, it's got an epic feel and sound to it. I love how the drums have like that echoing effect on them. Uh, they're just thick and epic and powerful. Um, really good riffs, amazing, amazing uh, guitar solos on here. Uh, man, the solos are just so catchy when they, uh, when they come in. So yeah, this is one of the best releases I've heard so far this year. Um, absolutely love it, can't get enough of it. And I can't wait to hear what this band does in the future. And I really hope that they get to come to the States someday. Because as far as I know, they haven't yet. It's a pretty recent band. They just formed in like 2016, I think. So uh, they're still pretty new to the fold. This is also released on Gates of Hell Records, by the way. Uh, same label as Traveler. So, um, yeah. Man, Chevalier. Fucking awesome band. Love it, love it. So, yeah. Chevalier Destiny Calls. And Chevalier, by the way, is French for night. So that is where they get the name. And I guess that's going to do it for today's uh, CD collection update. So I thank you guys, as always, you know, thank you guys for watching, continuing to comment, subscribe, like, whatever, you know, all that cool shit. Um, I love talk. Uh, I love coming on here and talking about music with you guys and sharing it with those who also like the same stuff as me so uh thank you thank you um and for those who were patient for my comeback or though if any of you if any if any of my 70 subs gave a shit no i'm just kidding i don't care if i have 70 subs or if i have hundreds i appreciate you know i appreciate all the views i appreciate anybody who's wanting to watch this so thank you seriously um uh, I should be back to doing videos regularly now, so probably try to do one like once a week, something like that. I'm going to see Sanctuary next Friday, so I'm probably going to do a review uh, on that show after I go see it. So be on the lookout for that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.